Hey guys, how you going? What's going on? My name's Adam Dyson and welcome back to another video. If you're new around here, I am a professional landscape photographer based in Melbourne, Australia. My channel mainly consists of landscape photography tutorials and vlogs, but today I'm pretty much in the middle of nowhere near Dalesford in Victoria, Australia, and I want to give you a quick run through of the van that I've been living out of full time for the last nine months. So this is something that came up quite a few years ago. I've always wanted to try to explore the idea of living in a van. Um, I've had a good handful of friends that have lived in vans. My brother had a van as well. So it was just a new kind of way of thinking. And the main reason was is that I was so overpaying rent and not actually using the space effectively. So I thought to myself, what's the point in paying all this money in rent when you can buy a van deck it out for a couple of thousand dollars and live in that full time. So that's kind of where the idea sparked. And from there, it's just grown into something that I've really started to enjoy. So without further ado, this is my home. So first up, let's run through the van. So it's a 2005 Mazda E2000. It's the petrol version, it's also got gas as well. It's pretty much stock standard apart from the bull bar, which I didn't put on, but other than that, it's just a standard Mazda E2000. So jumping into the front, this is also pretty stock standard. I really haven't changed anything too much in the front of the van at all. The only thing I have done, and I think the most annoying thing about the van is it doesn't actually come with cup holders. So I made this little box in the center. It's a little bit rough, but as a whole, it does the job and it holds my coffee in the morning. Another thing I've done up the front here too is I've bought this little Yui Boom 2 portable Bluetooth speaker. Highly recommend this to anybody that's going to build out a van. Um, super handy for listening to music. And as you might know, if you do drive a van where you sit over the engine, it's super loud in the cabin. And most of the time, the speakers in the van itself don't actually work all that good. So buy yourself a good Bluetooth speaker and at least you can listen to music. So with the fit out, this is something I mostly did by myself. Sure, I got a few hands from people holding pieces of wood in and all that kind of stuff, but 99% of it I did myself, which was a really kind of rewarding experience. I have done this kind of stuff a little bit before. I worked in manufacturing before I was a photographer. So I have a little bit of hands-on skills, but as a whole, it was something very new to me and really quite a fun little process. So on the outside, I have a small little kitchen and the way this works most of the time is I get my tripod and kind of put it up into here. In here, I've got a handful of paper towels and towels and all that kind of stuff. I've also got my fire extinguisher there, which is pretty handy if I did ever need that. I've also got my tap, which kind of swings inside and outside. So if I ever need water outside, I can do that really easily, as well as washing up indoors here. When it comes to water, I've got a 10 liter freshwater tank and a 10 liter gray water tank. Um, I don't use a lot of water when it comes to this tap. This is mainly for brushing my teeth and kind of washing up dishes. But as a whole, 10 liters is perfect for what I use it for. Moving on to the inside, I have three main drawers here. The first one contains all my cutlery. The second is plates, pots and pans, and the third is pots and pans as well. Um, these drawers work awesome. They haven't even come open once at all, so I don't even need to put like a latch on them or anything. Um, but yeah, they just kind of push in, pull out, and everything that I need is inside them. So stepping right into the inside of the van, I've got all this handy storage on the back of the seats here. So I think this was like a massive wasted kind of space when I first got the van. Um, I kind of ended up stacking stuff on this bottom shelf here. Um, but what I ended up doing is getting a scrap piece of wood, attaching some handy kind of organizers from Kmart. And yeah, this has just got a few different things in it here. It's got heaps of lens cloths, some games, some cookbooks, some other random stuff, some you know, fake plants up the top to make it feel a little bit more homely, some cups, but as a whole, this is just storage for a lot of random kind of stuff. When I first designed and built the van, I had the kitchen behind me here, and what ended up happening is that I started to 
travel around more and want to be able to sit in the van to do some work at night times and I kind of didn't have anywhere to do that work. So after organizing some stuff around and changing it around a little bit, I moved the kitchen from behind me here over to where you saw before and this is a much easier place for me to work. I can kind of set my computer up here and I can get a fair bit done and as a whole this is really comfortable. I've worked here for about five hours one day and it's really not too bad at all. So behind me here I've got the couch which I was telling you about before. Underneath that has got a heap of storage so more storage under here. I don't think in a van you can ever have too much storage. Um, there's also storage behind here as well, which is great for storing kind of those higher kind of items. So up here I've got a little skateboard, and that's kind of just on a little rack that sits in there quite nicely. Um, and the board is by Hunt. They're a Melbourne made company, all by hand. And yeah, I'll chuck their link in the description below. So if you want to run over and grab yourself a board, they do some actually really, really cool work. The skateboard also works really well as a clothes hook. So I often hang my jacket up onto these guys here. Um, keeps them nice and out of the way and everything kind of in its place. I think that's another really important thing to mention is that when you're in a van, everything's got to have its own little place. So as a whole, I keep it as clean as I possibly can. Um, and yeah, it's just one of those things where everything needs to have its own little place. Now going under the bed is obviously the most amount of space in the van itself. So I decided to go with a fixed bed. I didn't want anything that folded up into a couch. My theory was is sure it would have been great to have the bed turn into a couch, but I think I would have spent all this time building it and never actually used it. So I decided to go with a fixed bed. So the mattress is actually two mattresses. So it's two Ikea mattresses. One is just a foam base and the topper is a memory foam topper. And it's absolutely awesome. So it's probably the most comfortable bed I've ever slept in, which is really, really cool. What I've also had to do is I've had to chop the mattress down to actually fit in. So I ended up using an electric bread knife or an electric meat knife for that, um, which worked really, really well as well. Um, it was actually really quite satisfying cutting through it. What I've also done is I've cut a bit of a square out of it too to wrap around the kitchen itself. So we didn't want to waste too much space and 99% of the time it's only me in the van. So I ended up cutting out a section of the bed which makes it a really nice little in cove for the kitchen itself. So under the bed itself is pretty much all storage and mainly for food. It's on a gas strut as well which works great and I've got a little light under there. It's also got the fridge which is on some Velcro at the back there to keep itself open. But yeah, as a whole, it's a 20 litre Waco fridge, perfect for what I use it for. I don't really need any bigger because 99% of the time, all I have in there is a handful of beers. I have some ham and cheese for sandwiches and a few other little bits and pieces, but I don't really need a big fridge like some people do. I've also haven't got a lot of storage for food because I don't really cook all that much. I cook a little bit when I have to, um, but 90% of the time I'll probably end up going out for dinner. That's just the way that I do it. So I've also got another small little pantry here, which kind of houses some Vegemite, some peanut butter, some shapes, sauces and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, that's just for other random stuff that doesn't go under the bed. Another handy thing I've done in here as well is I've put Velcro onto this bottom shelf here and I've also put it onto the bottom of each of the jars and sauce bottles and that just stops it from rolling around when you're driving. So moving on to the first of the two cabinets that store all my clothes. As you know, if you live in a van, you don't really have enough space to have too much stuff. So I used to have so, so, so many clothes and now I've got barely any at all. I nearly wear the same clothes every day. Sure, different pairs. Um, I wear very similar clothes near on every day of the week. So the first one here is I've got storage for anything that needs to get hung up. Yeah, I have a handful of jackets and shirts that I wanted to hang up, so I thought that's the perfect place for it. And the one up the back here has pretty much the rest of my clothes, socks and jocks up the top here, and pants and t-shirts down the bottom. So. As I said before, I don't really have a lot of clothes and I don't feel like I need it anymore. Um, which is kind of a really good feeling in a way. 
So on the roof here, I have an Air Max fan. It is the basic version of quite a good fan, but it works awesome. It's nearly like air conditioning in the summertime. Um, absolutely perfect. And it works really well for drawing out fumes for when you're cooking inside the van. Moving on to the back of the van, this is kind of where I spent so much time trying to figure out. I was gonna make it really complicated with some massive pull-out drawers either side and kind of, you know, a shelf that kind of went down the side here. But I ended up going with a really basic version of that same principle and I'm super stoked with it. So I've pretty much got a black tub here and that houses most of the garage-based stuff in the van. I've got my boots, I've got some extra coolant, I've got um, some liquid nails and a drill or two. I've also got a couple of half drunk bottle of wine, which is good for those cold nights, I guess you could say. In the center here is where I put all my photography gear. So I've got my camera bag, I've got a couple of tripods, my computer's up the back there, and some of my shoes are in here as well. Over this side, I've got my toiletries, an extra blanket, I've got a slack line for a bit of fun, and I've also got enough storage to be able to put some chairs and a picnic blanket down the side underneath the storage cabinets above. I've also got an iPad on a little stand here, and this is great for laying in bed and watching Netflix and YouTube. Um, I pretty much just tether to my phone and then I've got all the Netflix and YouTube that I want to watch at night. Alright, so from there let's talk about the fun stuff. Let's talk about the electronics within the van. So underneath the bed here I have a 110 amp hour battery and that runs up this centre pipe into this top box. And this is the main reason why I've got the greenery on here, just to cover up that PVC pipe. Um, it runs into an isolator and then into a fuse box and then everything else runs off from there. So the main things I've got hooked up to the 12 volt system is my lights here and lights at the back there. I've also got the fan and the fridge as well as some USB charging points throughout the van. Under the bed as well, I've also got a 600 watt inverter and that really doesn't get used all that much. Um, I use it to charge my batteries every now and again for my camera as well as my laptop but I probably could have went with a smaller inverter but decided to future proof the whole system. So you'll notice I don't actually have any solar on the van. Um, that's for a couple of different reasons. One, I didn't really want to spend the money and two, I don't really think I need it. So as a whole, I drive quite a fair bit and the whole system charges off a split charger from the front inverter. So the batteries get charged up really well every day. So I think if I did camp out for a couple of days, I probably would run out of power, but it's as easy as turning on the van anyway. So for now, I think that's kind of the way it's gonna stay. Anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you like and subscribe below. Also follow me on Instagram. That's where I put up all my landscape photography. And until next time, I'll catch you later.